It is officially winter time here in Tennessee, and we just had a huge ice storm. And most people hate these this kind of weather because of uh, electricity going out and bad roads, hard to travel. But I actually really enjoy the winter time because the winter time is when my favorite types of organisms are active and that would be the salamanders. This here, if you are interested in herpetology at all, this is a must-have book for your library. Uh, salamanders of the U.S. and Canada by James Petranka, who I believe is at University of North Carolina, Asheville. And um, anyways, uh, a lot of my favorite salamanders come out this time of year. And as an educator, I like to go out and find them and bring them into my classroom to show my students. I uh, was shocked when I first started teaching just how few people are familiar with these wonderful animals. And um, here is a good example of one. This is the marbled salamander, which a lot of people are not familiar with, unfortunately. A um, couple others in here that I found just the other day, now that the weather's getting cold. Um, not a whole lot going on with geckos right now. So this has occupied my time a bit. This is a mole salamander. About full grown, not as, uh, as large as I have seen them. And I believe there was one other in here. Yes, a small mouth. Uh, we have four ambistomid species of salamander here in West Tennessee. Um, these three, and then also the spotted salamander, which in my area does not really become active until around February. And so don't find many of them this time of year, but those are the, the other three. Supposedly, we used to have tiger salamanders here, but not anymore. Um, so, anyways, nothing new to talk about in terms of geckos, but uh, I had a couple people send me some messages asking if I was a herpetologist. Um, I would say the answer to that is yes and no. Um, I'm not a professional herpetologist, but I do study reptiles and amphibians, and as I encourage my students um, all the time, anything that you study, that's what you are. And, uh, or I guess, I, guess, I guess what you study is not what you are. That's not the way to say it. I guess that means I'm a, I'm a salamander. Um, no, but if you're someone that finds music interesting and, and you play an instrument, then you are a musician. If you write poetry, even if you don't do it as a profession, you are a poet. And I guess if you are someone that takes great joy in studying reptiles and amphibians of all types, then you are, by definition, a herpetologist.